So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna take a look at three rifle builds that rule them all. These builds are not perfect because they do not account for strengths and weaknesses of individual weapons. So I would always encourage you to tweak them based on strengths and weaknesses of individual weapons but also based on your personal preference. So if you find yourself using one of these builds on a weapon that for you has an unbearable amount of reload time or it constantly runs out of ammo, feel free to put on a reload mod or a ammo mutation mod respectively. These builds are a great starting point and the way I work with them is every time I get a new weapon I take a look at the stats and see if it has enough critical strike chance for the crit build, enough status chance for the status build or it has neither and I will simply use the raw damage build. So let's take a look at the first build which is going to be the crit build. So we're going to start off by adding serration for more damage, split chamber for multi shot, heavy caliber for even more damage, vital sense and point strike for critical strike chance and critical multiplier and we're gonna finish it off with three elemental mods and for me most of the time it's gonna be stormbringer and infected clip for corrosive damage and hellfire for heat damage this build is great for rifles that have at least 20% critical strike chance. It's better if the weapon has 25% critical strike chance or even 30% critical strike chance, but 20% is good enough. It's also nice if the weapon has higher critical multiplier than the standard 200% or even 150%, like Soma and Soma Prime with 300% critical multiplier, but 200% is still good enough. However, due to the addition of heavy caliber, it makes the weapons rather inaccurate and this does vary from weapon to weapon, but weapons like sniper rifles, bows, single shot weapons and burst weapons are not very well suited for this build, which is why you should tweak it a little bit if you want to use it on one of these weapons. And the one thing we're going to change with the build is we're going to remove heavy caliber and we're going to replace it with argon scope. But this only works for weapons that you're comfortable with and you can hit headshots fairly regularly and also for weapons that you know you'll be aiming down sights with like 99% of the time. As I've said already, this build is my starting point for sniper rifles, bows, single shot weapons and burst weapons that do have at least 20% critical strike chance. And I know people are going to ask about different variations of this, but these are the builds that I use on the weapon the first time I get it just to kind of see what the weapon is about. And as I've said already, tweaking these builds based on your personal preference and based on strengths and weaknesses of individual weapons is recommended. Crit builds scale really well into endgame if you can reliably hit headshots with the weapon you use them on, because then the critical multiplier will be amplified by the headshot multiplier, resulting in a track ton of damage. And let's move on to the second build, which is the raw damage build. So we're going to start off once again by adding serration for more damage, split chamber for multi-shot, heavy caliber for even more damage and follow it up with three elemental mods and once again 99% of the time for me is going to be Stormbringer and Infected Clip for corrosive damage and Hellfire for heat damage. Then we're going to add a Bane mod which I know a lot of people don't like but Bane mods do add a lot of damage if you take them against a particular faction but if you don't like Bane mods or you're going up against the Corrupted you can swap it out for a mod like Shred which is going to add damage because it adds fire rate but you're also going to get a nice bit of punch through which is good for mowing down groups of enemies. And we're going to finish the build off with a physical damage mod that will amplify the highest physical damage the weapon does, in this case piercing hit, but if you have the 120% version like piercing caliber for the Boltor Prime, use that one instead. Unsurprisingly, I use this build on weapons that don't have enough critical strike chance for the crit build or enough status chance for the status build. This build is not very popular amongst the community, some will go as far as to say that if a weapon can't run a crit or a status build, it's useless. That's not true. Because while this build does not scale as well as the critical damage build into endgame, it is very reliable. It doesn't need to crit to kill an enemy. Which is an issue if you get a crit weapon that does not have 100% critical strike chance. And since you are doing a lot of damage with every shot, headshots will be pretty beefy. Now I may sound like Captain Obvious over here, but the damage of this build is very heavily dependent on the weapon you use it on, because, well, MK1 Bratton is just not gonna do as much damage as Bolt or Prime. And the reason I mention this is because it's more apparent with the raw damage build than it is with the crit build or the status build. And that's simply due to the fact that there is a wider variety of raw damage weapons than there are crit or status weapons. And let's take a look at the final build, the status build, which I would recommend for weapons that have at least 20% status chance. You can use this build on weapons that have 15% status chance, but the status procs will be fairly unreliable at that point. So we're going to start off once again by adding serration for more damage, split chamber for multi-shot, heavy caliber for even more damage, and then we're either going to add firestorm if the weapon can use firestorm or shred. And this is here to simply help us spread status procs on as many enemies as possible. 
and Firestorm does this by simply increasing the area of effect of the weapon, so we're gonna hit more enemies, and Shred does this by simply punching through the enemies so the bullets hit the enemies behind them. And of course, since this is a status weapon, we're gonna use dual stat mods. Now, there are multiple setups that you can use for this. The one you're looking at right now is the one I like to call the Ragdoll Cannon, which has high voltage and malignant force for corrosive damage, which is gonna strip away enemy armor, and thermite rounds with rhyme rounds for blast damage, and this is what's gonna deliver a lot of knockdown. This setup is awesome for party play, but it's not so good for solo play because the damage isn't very high. If you want to do more damage, you should go for this setup, which the basics are the same, but we're going to use high voltage and malignant force for corrosive damage and only thermite rounds for heat damage. So as we strip away the enemy armor with corrosive damage, we can do a lot of damage with heat damage. Now the final slot there is opened and you can either add Stormbringer or Infected Clip for stronger corrosive damage or Hellfire for stronger heat damage, and that's up to you. And the third setup is the one I like to use versus very high level enemies, and it uses high voltage and thermite rounds for radiation damage, and malignant force with rhyme rounds for viral damage. And this setup is just awesome for very high level enemies, because the radiation is gonna confuse them, so they're gonna shoot at each other, and at the same time viral damage is gonna cut their health in half. This is the least damaging setup out of the three, but it scales the best into endgame because it doesn't matter if the enemy is level 5 or 5000, because status procs are always gonna do the same thing, and as a result of that, status builds are much better for party play rather than solo play, because on your own you're not gonna do that much damage with them. But if you're using the first or the second build, so the builds that have corrosive damage, and you go into the void with a friend that has Soma Prime with a crit build, he's gonna love you. And there is nothing better than confusing a level 100 bombard with radiation and watch him get decimated by all of his friends. And that's it for the three rifle builds that rule them all. As I said in the beginning, they are not perfect, but at least one of these builds is gonna fit like 99.999% of the rifle weapons that are in the game. They are a great starting point for the rifles, and they will show you what the weapon is about, what it's capable of, and what the strengths and weaknesses are so you can then tweak the build accordingly. So I hope the video was helpful, I thank you very much for watching as always, and I will see you next time, bye bye.